To this, this spring, what do you feel like uh, it has elevated your game? Um, just staying consistent every day. Uh, just making sure I come out with the right mindset. Um, we have a goal, one goal each week, and I just come every day and just make sure I get that one goal every day so I can get better and move on to the next goal. With the numbers limited in the spring, did you kind of sense this was your opportunity to show what you could do? Um, sort of. I mean, when that, when everybody gets back, it's still going to be, we're all still going to be moving as one. So, um, yeah, I guess you could say that uh, with all the guys that like Kurt, Barnett, and all those guys, uh, um, I'm stepping in, I'm trying to be a leader to the young guys and try to help them do that. How much were you motivated by, by last year and maybe not getting you know, the looks that you are now? Um, well, last year was kind of a, a process because, you know, I was kind of underweight when Coach had moved me to tackle. So it was kind of a process. I was still doing a lot of things that I'm doing now, but I was still undersized. And But uh, now that I'm at the weight I need to be in, I, I feel like I'm doing a lot better job. And, what is, what is your weight at now? Um, 285, 288, what were you at last season? Uh, started camp last year, I was around like 265. So it, it took a while for me to get acclimated to my weight. But how, how much more comfortable do you feel the way you are now? I feel a lot comfortable. I feel good. I feel, I'm moving like I was 265, I'm 288 too, so it's all good. How long did it take you to get used to playing in that phone booth kind of going from then to tackle? Did you kind of take to that naturally or did you have to get used to it? Um, I, I kind of I kind of like playing in the phone booth better a little bit. Um, I, so I've always been good with my hands and playing inside. And I, I can utilize that a lot more than I did on the outside. Was the question just whether you, you knew whether you wondered if you could add the weight? Was that the issue, or did you right, know you right. could do it? Yeah, it was just all, all it was was just me adding the weight. Do you want to stay at 285 or 288, or is there a bigger goal in mind? Like um, 290. It sounds like a good mark for me. I feel like I can move as well as I did as I was 270. So. Pedro, can you talk about conversations you have with those back home and, and the support, you know, from the other side of the mountains and whatnot? Oh yeah, um, my family follows me every day. Um, coaches, high school coaches, um, they follow me to this day. I still talk to all my high school coaches now. Um, my parents came down last week for family day. They're supporting me. I got family here in Knoxville supporting me. So um, I'm going back home just like I was. I'm just a dude from half luck, just just trying to make it out. So. What about those that may not be Tennessee fans? Are they Vol fans now? Uh, yeah, they're ruined for they're ruined for me and uh, they're ruined for the Vols. I can say that. With, uh, with you guys being limited in terms of numbers, how much full line uh, work have you guys been able to do with just like you guys would line up in a, in a game situation? Um, we're doing full line work every day. Um, it's the same um, tie inside run um, team. We're doing it's the same. Who are you lining up with? Um, Jay Sean, uh, I'm lining up on Jay Sean, uh, a guard. I'm sure y'all know who he is. Uh, uh, I, look, I line up next to Latroy every day. Uh, we communicate back and forth. We're getting a, a, a bond between each other, so we're helping each other out. As well. yeah. I know you and Jay Sean are probably two of the strongest guys on the team. I guess how, how would you characterize those battles between? It's, it's 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 rough sometimes. Sometimes I get the best of him, he gets the best of me. But one thing we compete every day. And when we compete every day, we're making each other better. And uh, uh, he's, he's strong too. He's strong too. When you when you have a 710 pound squad, I imagine that probably helps you. You're, oh yeah, you're it helps. Seeing how much that, that's helping you inside. Oh yeah, it helps a lot. Um, just I just got to make sure I'm just driving my legs, making sure I'm using utilizing that 710 uh, pound squad. Kendall, uh, can you point back to a moment to why you think maybe the, the switch is flipped for you this spring? Um, I don't know. It's just uh, me getting accumulated. Ac Accolade to the to the playbook and uh, just me just making sure I'm locked in. Maybe before I wasn't as locked in as I am now, but now I got everything. I have no excuse, so I'm just going 110 miles an hour. What are some examples maybe that that your dedication has changed, or, or that, like you said, you're going 110 miles an hour than, than maybe when you were a younger guy? It's not really not as dedicated. Just me, just not thinking so much and me just reacting now I can react to blocks I can react to a lot of things I can I'm a lot smarter than I was before I can see like the backfield and know what's coming know if a double team's coming or not so I can I've gotten a lot smarter to how much of the guys that haven't been able to practice how much have they been able to help coach you up this spring um, they've done a great job in doing that um, OB Kurt even Barnett um, all those guys uh, with Salisbury uh, they've done a great job in helping me and I can I can tell them where I'm coming from from being on the field, 
and they can relay the message back to them. And obviously you don't want all those injuries on the D-line, but just kind of how beneficial has that been for you to get all those extra reps? And I mean, you, you don't have a lot of time to rest out there, it seems. Um, it's, it's, it would have been the same if uh, the guys were still in. Um, I feel like just when the guys come back, everybody's going to be clicking as one. And uh, I feel like it's going to be a lot better when those guys come back. What do you see that in shot total when you first got here? Um, 460. In high school, I did 460. And my legs have always been, I feel like my legs have always been yeah. strong. But now I'm just adding the weight, adding the college weight, and uh, just getting stronger. Is it odd that you're able to do that much now when you're only you know, 285, 290? It seems like you should um, be a little bit more if you're doing that much. Uh, yeah, sort of. It looks, uh, the weight looks intimidating, but, you know, you, I just get under and attack it. So. What's just the same like in the weight room when you put 720 pounds on the bar? <laughs> it's crazy. Everybody, all the guys going crazy. Um, everybody in the weight room is going crazy. The coach is going crazy. What's going through your head when you step underneath 720 pounds and put it across your shoulders? Don't collapse. <laughs> Last one. Kendall, you uh, always mention, like, the team has one goal. Um, do you think, like, that selfless approach has, like, led to such a successful spring? Oh, I think season? so. Um, especially with all the young guys. Um, that we, as myself, I have to develop as a leader to help them um, get the best out of them. So just me, just everybody have one goal. It just makes everything better.